Hi, John here. Uh, today's 11th of uh, July 2017. I'm just um, going to see the Freemasons uh, shortly and um, I'll be talking about Mohi Manakao and I'm going to show you a bit about him on the um, magistrate court bag that I have here. This one. I've got all the documents in here. This is a magistrate court, native magistrate portable court, where all the files, all these books like this, are in that bag. And you can see here, I'll put it up here, that's Mohi Manakao's um, Freemasons 50 years of service in the uh, lodge in uh, Awaroa Bank Native Court in Hillensville. That's his, um, um, the Duke of Al Al Albany is in the Kaipara Harbour, uh, Duke of Al Albany Lodge um, 2073. Um, on the 24th day of July 1957 and have Enjoyed continuous membership of the craft for a period of 50 years. Now I, Peter, Brian, Subcell, something, District Grand Master for North Island, New Zealand, extend congratulations and something. Felicitation for poor, long and devoted, your long and devoted service to the order. Um, and under my hand and seal of the district, this 24th day of July 2007, uh, district, I can't read properly, but anyway, the District Grand Lodge of North Island, New Zealand, under the United Grand Lodge of Ancient Free and Accepted Masons of England, to our well beloved brother Mohi Wurumu Manukau. Greetings. So, there, that's what I'm on about this week. Um, Putting this together for the uh, meeting up north. This is Mohi Manukau Moriori title to Te Rawaikato Wharaherehere Manukau in uh, Edinburgh, Scotland, where the main um, um, headquarters of the Grand Lodge is Freemasons. There's Mohi Manukau there. Look. I, I, I'll put, hold it up in front of you so that I don't have to, um, I'll put it on the table afterwards. But that's our gold dragon for the um, um, gold trust fund that comes under the Sedeke Trust that we're claiming. This is on One Tree Hill, Mohi Manukau, for the new province of Auckland which started from Awaroa in Helensville. So that's uh, I'm his executor and um, administrator of his business with the Freemasons. There's his um, title for the uh, memorial title for the Moriori Manukau and Kafaru um, title in the Kaipara, Aotea um, to uh, in Shelley Beach in the Kaipara that's connected to Altair, um, Great Barrier Island, and Altair, downtown Auckland, New Zealand, Altair Square. So that's the uh, Whakapapa for Mohi Manukau, straight to Westminster Magistrate Court, this, this bag. All the documents are in this silver case, which is a portable court. Um, Magistrate, that's myself, Magistrate, 
of all these documents to this King William the Fourth Yard, William Yard, in Devon Port, England. That's in Plymouth County. Right there, that's our court. Right? This is this book. I bound this up myself. So I'm the author of all the books in this bag. I'll put the camera into the bag shortly and you can see all the documents. That's all it takes to do a court hearing anywhere in the world with our flag here, King William gave us, of the Admiralty Magistrate Private Contract Bank Trading Flag Court. Set up in Edinburgh, Edinburgh Magistrate Court with Lieutenant William Simons um, and Te Rawakato Wharehere Manukau. William Simons was the 23rd Regiment of the Royal British Navy contracted with Te Rawakato Wharehere Manukau. So that's our court and King William's flag of Admiralty right there that we have the authority, the jurisdiction and constitution inside this book. This is one of many books in this Grand Jury Private Contract Magistrate Court, native. Uh, so that's the whakapapa of the four main tribes. I'll do this another day for this, um, uh, this carving. It just shows you a history of the titles in the Kaipara Harbour with this. The other Altier uh, uh, name is Raglan, connected to Kafaru the Giant. Uh, of um, Waikato and with King Tafio Waikato, that's the pound note uh, uh, King gave him and also this flag at 1834 became the uh, founding documents of this country and um, King William III acknowledged King uh, uh, Captain Cook in 1833, he acknowledged Captain Cook of finding this country first. And then the flag finished it off on the 20th of March, 1834, in Kororareka, Bay of Islands. Okay? Russell. Russell. So that's Mohi Manako, a bit of, of him, and Kafri the Giant. That was his tūpuna. And those people who are running Ngāti Whātua is running rampant on the Queen Victoria New South Wales government with King Itaurua and uh, Nader Glavish in the Kaipara and a few others that have stolen that title to Auckland and that's the one Mohi and I have been battling for years against this rogue New Zealand government now that you can see they're in trouble with the Paramount Chiefs now and here's a birth certificate <coughs> <coughs> of Tiki Tiki Church um, was the first St. Mary's Church uh, in 1831 uh, that um, put the um, bonds together from the birth, deaths and marriages certificates on my land in my own Rahui Marae in Tiki Tiki to the native magistrate court magistrate court portable in Whakawhitira Native Court to Aorua Native Court in Helensville, the one I'm talking about here, in that bank there. Aorua Bank started up first there to the BNZ Bank, to the League of Nations, to the World Bank. That's how the World Bank started from Aorua with these Freemasons. Okay, that's what I'm saying about Freemasons. Why I'm going to see them with this magistrate court afterwards. That's our trade and our business. So here we have. Timati Banakau, I've sworn the affidavits with him in 1834, right there, this flag, okay, in this book bound up as citations and fact evidence to take to the Freemasons who are more or less in a partnership arrangement with Mohi Manakau for the Moriori Manakau titles to New Zealand and the Pacific Islands, for that matter. And Jerry uh, Balakasavu was the lawyer 
doing these documents at the time he was alive. He died. And you can see his signature right here. Okay, so that's certifying through the Bar Association here in New Zealand that this was true and correct birth certificate uh, with Mohi Manukau and myself signatory to it. Um, and here's another birth certificate with Otai Manukau at 1832. See, round about the time of King William IV reign. Monarch 1830 to 1837, everything happened in these years from 1830 to 1834, nowhere beyond. We're cut off right on that date. Now, here's an affidavit for the four pillars that Whakapapa from Mohi Manukau and myself here in a joint partnership with the Freemasons right there. Okay, and that carving I showed you is his title Memorial. Uh, Aparahama, Taunui, I'll get, I'll get my, I'll get my glass. Aparahama Taunui, um, and his son Hohepa, Ngāpui, Ngāti Whātua tribe, that was number one, that's the ones that lead the uh, hapus, and this Kāwe, Kāwharu, the giant, Aotea tribe, that's the second one on the pillars, and uh, Tamata Kapua and his son Tuhoro Matakaka and his son Ihinga Arawa tribe. Te Arawa tribe, that's the third one. The last one is Te Rawaikato Wharaherehere, <coughs> Waikato tribes, the fourth one. <coughs> Te Rawaikato, that put these titles together with um, Lieutenant uh, William Simons as Navy Magistrate Court. Oh, that bad. Okay, that bad. It's true story. Now here we have the certificate under the Land Transfer Act of um, certifying uh, John Rogan at the time. I can't read it properly now. Anyway, these are documents with um, registered book number, folio 37. Folio 35. Anyway, I will, I'll read another day, but I've got all signatures from Kafiru the Giant here, the hui we had in Manilewa, right here. Okay, to go with this, this book was put together at that time we uh, unveiled the uh, plaque on top of One Tree Hill as that province of Auckland from Britain. There's John Rogan there, right? That's his documents as <coughs> uh, Mohi Manukau's um, uh, family, with John Rogan, and Mohi Rogan <coughs> married Moriah um, Manukau at that time, 15th of September 1875. And so these are just documents to cite and Fact evidence for the deeds 339 Auckland. There. Okay, this is the titles I'm talking about. I've got them all here with Mohi and myself. <coughs> so it's Rogan, signed here, Rogan. Married into the Monaco family. That's how that title came to be in Helensville. <coughs> and there on more titles. I'm just saying, I just wanted to show you Mohi Manukau's um, um, Freemasons title uh, certificate. That's all. And, and this book here <coughs> is signed here as being this book here. And that's Mohi Manukau there signing with me. We put a lot of time in this, six years to put these together. And that's, this is just one title from Britain with Mohi Manukau and his birth certificates and his Freemason titles are in here. Okay, so that's what I really wanted to say today. I'll just, just to make it shorter, but all the books here, let me put this over here so you can see. For this flag, those are the books over there, some of them, but they can't fit. That's, that's a government of Aotearoa, Charter, look. Charter. 
Tata. And there, there's the books, enough for them to fit in there. Those books will fit in on top of it if I take this cover here off. But we've got the other documents loose in the back here. Um, here, if I took those out and put the other ones in. This is the writ warrant here. This is the signed writ warrant here that we put for Cook Street and the power notes and everything to build them with. Okay? There's Chira Waikato Farahiri Hiri Manakao right there on the right hand side. Right? He's there. Right? And Hongi Hika there with his spear and Chira Waikato there. Right? That's the writ warrant on Cook Street and all the other um, documents we've got against the Crown. That's the title to New Zealand there, the whole country I put to, together with Mohi Manakao. <coughs> Queen Victoria Trust, I can see she's back here. Queen Victoria Trust, I'll just, um, there, Queen Victoria Trust, somewhere here. Oh yeah, Queen Victoria Trust, there. The Saturday Trust and everything is contained in these documents. And I think it's, this one is the writ, this is the writ warrant here. That's the main writ warrant here. Alright? Well, I'm going up to have a hui up north to seize this whole country back with this document. And the land of Cook Street. <coughs> That's Pomari. That's Te Rawaikato there. And King William the Fourth there. The partnership there, there, the contract. <coughs> That's um, Manahi Mohini, uh, Manahi Parapara Mohini, signing the writ warrant with Bundy, Waitai, and myself, and Selwyn Clark. Selwyn Clark, with well, the Clark family, Kraka, uh, signed all the registries in that time of putting these titles together. There's Tiki Tiki there, birth certificates, right? And there's the map here saying 1831. Oh, you can't see it. I've got it on another one. Uh, 1831 and all the other um, people who came down to East Cape at that time came much later. Oh, here's a better one. And you might see it here. You see 1831 over here somewhere. Over here. Over there somewhere. Uh, you can see it. Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll do this another day for that. And the photos of Hikarangi, Mount Hikarangi. Tiki Tiki there and our Rahui Marae, and the Nukatere Waka of Toi Kairako. The title to New Zealand. See, these are all citations and our seals here. There, and there, there. That's, uh, there, I can't read, um, really, not today. But I'm just saying, we have all the evidence here in this book to certify everything correct. Okay? So that's what I might see it over here. Uh, 1831, see the arrow? 1831. Right there, see? 1831. There, that's the birth certificates of New Zealand. First started back to the Moriori, back to the Toi Karakos, Waka there at Rangitukia, and Mohi Manakau right there. Okay? Here he is there. Right? Now that's what I'll do for today. And uh, I'll just put this back here. And we'll catch you later. Uh, I'll go head off to the Freemasons right now. Bye.